Hey everyone, I am Judith Jones, food and travel editor of the Gourmet Travelista, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make English eggy bread. That's right, you heard correctly. I'm taking you back to my roots and we're going to make some English eggy bread. So what you'll need is two slices of very thick bread. Now we have some sourdough here, uh, but you can use brioche, um, any, any thick sliced white bread we t tend to use, uh, which you like. We have two medium sized eggs, which we've cracked open here. We have half a tablespoon of olive oil, half a tablespoon of butter, and salt and pepper to taste. So as you can see, these are very simple ingredients and it's very quick and easy to do. So first of all, we're gonna heat our nonstick frying pan to a medium heat and we're gonna um, let our olive oil and butter get nice and hot there for frying. Now we English like to take very simple ingredients and do some very indulgent things with them. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our two eggs, some salt and pepper in there, and we're just gonna whisk that up. This is really simple. Uh, I grew up th with this as a morning treat for breakfast. So if you find yourself in English and you go to a caf, a cafe, and you ask for a full English breakfast, sometimes they will give you eggy bread, but if they don't, ask them to, because they will certainly do so for you. So we're gonna get our bread. Let's just swivel this butter around first to make sure it covers the pan fully. Don't let it get too piping hot, but just nice and melted. All right, so we get our nice thick bread, sourdough here, and all we're gonna do is cover it up in that eggy mixture, like so. Let's get our other one. Let all that egg ooze into there. Mmm, yum. And that is really easy, so we're just gonna put it on our frying pan and we're gonna let it fry until it gets a nice golden brown. Should be a couple minutes every side. Not even that. There we go. And this is great, I mean, eaten by itself, it's wonderful, um, but served with bacon, uh, mushrooms, peas, anything you want really you can serve with this uh, indulgent eggy bread. It's great. So in America, um, your version of eggy bread is French toast. However, uh, this uh, eggy bread is savory. French toast, we add cinnamon, nutmeg, and we have a little bit of uh, sweetness in there. But eggy bread is purely salt and pepper. That's all you need. All right. All right, let's turn one over, see how it's going. Oh, and that's nice. It's a nice golden brown right there, just how we like it. There we go. So a few minutes on every side and it's great. And actually, if you have, you know, bread that's going a little bit stale, a little bit dry, it's even better. We want that kind of crunchy, stale uh, bread uh, to give it a nice consistency with the eggs. Okay. Very simple and very easy to do. All right, so they have fried up nicely for a few minutes on every side. So we're just gonna transfer them to a plate now. And they are ready. Wow, look at that. So beautiful. That is a wonderful, indulgent, very filling breakfast. And there you have it, everyone. That is your English eggy bread. Thanks for watching today, everyone. And make sure to subscribe to our website to watch plenty of other fantastic videos. And if you have any email requests, you can email requests at mahalo.com and we'll be sure to answer any questions and queries you might have. Thanks again.